Hello, welcome back to Bomb Feed. Today we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna start with a faster dance called the hustle. So we're gonna teach you the few basics starting there. Let's get right into it. Okay, this is the leader's footwork to this hustle basic. And you'll notice we did several different kinds of basics. We did a slow timing, a syncopated timing, and a rotating basic. So first, the basic, basic footwork here, I'm gonna start with my leaders. With my left foot first, I'm gonna do one rock back on my left foot I replaced my right foot and my feet closed together, together twice. I took four steps in total, but I went back, replace, together, together. This timing is one, two, three, four. This is my stationary basic in normal timing. If I wanted to do the syncopated timing, I would take a slightly smaller step backwards and I wouldn't put my back heel down. So I would go and one, two, three, and one, two, three. So that's a difference of how I would dance both basics. If I have more time, I can put my heel down because I have a lot longer to take. If I'm syncopating, then I keep my heel up because I'm much quicker moving each time. So now rotating this basic, what I'm gonna do, my goal is to make half a turn. You do not have to make half a turn. At the beginning, it can seem difficult to rotate that much with your partner, but this is our goal. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna rock backwards my left foot I replace my right foot, and I'm already gonna to start to rotate my right foot and take more of a side, if not a back step, on my left foot. And now I get to go back or slightly together with my right foot, and I'm back to the beginning. So the key is rotating early. Me going one, two, I already start to rotate, side or slightly back, three, and then back on my right foot, four. And now I'm here on the other side, and I can go one, two, three, four, and now I'm here again. You can see it one time from the side. I'm gonna go back, forward, turning, back, 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 forward, turning, back, back, and now I'm here. All right, ladies, let's do our footwork together. So we're gonna start with that right foot. We're gonna take a small step back. We're gonna rock forward on the left foot. We're gonna march in place for two steps, right and left. So we go back, replace, and place, and place, back, forward, march, march. If we do that with a basic timing, we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now if we do it with a syncopated timing like Chris said, we're gonna take an even smaller step back and then we're gonna maybe take a slightly forward step on the left foot and then we're gonna go march, march. So footwork wise, we have the heel up in the back foot instead of replacing all the way back. If I do it from the side so you can see, my heel stays up. I might even go a little bit more forward on that left foot. I take two steps in place, just like the basic. With that timing from the side this time, we go and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, so now that we've done our basic with our two timings, our more beginner timing and then advanced timing, let's rotate this basic together. So, with the basic timing to learn, we start with the right foot, we rock back, and we rock forward the same way. From here, we're gonna step straight forward on the right foot, and we're gonna rotate on that foot ending back, and then we're gonna land small step back on the left foot. So if we go directions again, right foot back, left foot forward, uh, right foot forward, rotating, ending back, and then left foot back. If I go from the side, so I just have a little more space for you, we're gonna start with that right foot. We go back, forward, forward, rotating to the right, back. So what I'm doing on that rotation is I'm just passing that foot or leaving the free foot behind, and then all I have to do when I make the rotation is just replace that foot back. So again, I go back, Forward, forward, rotating, back. You could also think of this as a side step. So if I went back, forward, I could think forward, side, to make that rotation a little bit easier, and then you would finish facing your partner. So the footwork in Hustle has many different variations. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Just do what's comfortable for you. One more thing I'll say about that final step, some people, might find that it's easier to go and close the feet 
at the very end, just depending on how far you are from your partner, but we'll talk about that a little more when Chris comes back in. So let's do the timing just for that one more time. We go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more from this direction. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, key points to dancing this together now. So again, we had a lot of different options and we'll go through each option nice and slowly. So when we do this straight basic in a normal timing is our first option. We have no rotation, no syncopation. We would just go one, two, three, four. We're moving away from each other. So with my lead now, I send her away slightly. It's, again, very, very slight. One of the biggest things we're gonna go over and hustle is that I don't wanna to be too, too heavy with the hands. I don't want her to be too heavy with the hands. We need to be really, really light and dance this more with our feet and our body instead of being too crazy with the hands. So, with my body, with my arms, I send her away slightly, but my hands are very, very open and light instead of squeezing and pushing her away. So, we've established that we're moving away we come again, I move my body forward so she comes forward, and we just close together, together. And this would be the simplest version of this hustle basic. You could dance to any hustle song, and we are now, we're moving, you know? So one important thing that Chris mentioned is to stay connected to your partner. Loosely, not too much. So what we see a lot when we um, work with people in real life, we'll see this. Whether it comes from the girl, whether it comes from the guy, doesn't matter. But we see it a lot because we both are going backwards. Also, a natural tendency when we go back is to take the top half with us. So then you get this extra stretch. People sometimes feel like they should be getting that. But we actually don't ever want to get to, ideally, a locked position in the arms. So one of the reasons why we do try to take a smaller step is so we do stay close to our partner. And also we want to try to keep our top half of our body straight up and down. So we don't want it to go back with the back step. What I'm gonna do is take a back step, but try to keep that spine exactly straight up and down instead of tilted back this way. Okay, this is our syncopated basic now. So the only thing we're changing is we're speeding up the first step we take. So really all we're doing now is we're going quick, slow, 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 quick, slow, 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 instead of taking a slow, 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 even tempo the entire time. We now just speed up this first step a little bit to give this dance a little bit more energy and you'll find it matches with the music a little bit better and it's it's definitely a more fun way to dance this dance. So what we've changed and we showed you before in our individual footwork video is that we both don't put our heel down. This makes us a little bit more agile. Also the step is very very small. Mm -hmm. A little more agile so we can start to be quicker on that step. What you're also going to notice which Lynn's already started to talk about is we start to take a slight step forward on our second step. So these different mechanics in our footwork are gonna help us when it comes to rotating and doing other patterns. So we had this super small ball to foot rock, and we both start to kind of move forward a little bit on the second step. It doesn't make a huge difference when you're not rotating and you're just standing right in front of each other. We're kind of like starting the engines and not going anywhere, but again, this is a habit we wanna get into that when we start to rotate this basic, it's gonna make it so much easier for you. And if you do happen to get too far away because one of you, or most likely both of you, are taking a fairly large step back, that step forward is gonna help bridge the gap between you and bring you back to a comfortable position. Yeah, usually when you don't put the heel down, usually the step stays small enough. Yeah. So if you were to like video yourself dancing or, or dance in the mirror, you could see if your back heel goes down or not. Typically if it doesn't, you'll be able to make this step comfortably. If you put this heel down and try to do it fast, we get some funny looking, funny looking stuff going and it's on. It's really hard. So we went small rock, slightly forward, and now we're just going together, together. We wouldn't do this, if we're doing a syncopated basic, we're probably not dancing to like this. We're probably a little bit more advanced and probably starting to rotate around a little bit. So now if we go to rotate this basic, we'll go back again to this simpler, more consistent timing, which is, we definitely recommend trying this dance in this straight, consistent timing first. Yes. So now if I want to signal to her, or we're gonna start rotating this basic, 
We take our normal rock step backwards. This one's a full rock step because we have time. And now we're gonna start to move forward on this second step. Even when I do the basic version with the straight timing, when I go to rotate, I have to go start to move forward on this second step or else I leave too much of the rotation up to this last uh, third and fourth step of the pattern. If I didn't take that forward step, if, if we both don't take it, if we go one, two, we have a lot of distance to cover up and kind of get around each other here to get on to the next thing. So, Especially if you're taking a really large rock set back, then yeah. it's like really hard. Even harder, exactly. So small rock back, we both slightly take a forward step here and you can see now we're already on the same path and it's very, very easy for us to get around each other now. I already start to think about rotating on this step as she starts to think about walking past me. We have different jobs here because we're actually on different feet. I'm on the foot closest to her and she's on the foot farthest from me, so we mechanically can't do the exact same thing. I start to rotate early to kind of initiate this and now she gets to take the step and finish her rotation after. When we do this more in time and consistently, you see us just rotate at the same time and it all looks normal where we're trying to get more specific about the mechanics of this and what job you have different from each other. Also, uh, one thing to note is he's sort of getting out of my way, and that's usually in these kinds of dances, the, when we're switching places, the leader's role is to clear the path and the follower's job is to keep continuing on that same path, because in theory, when you lead and follow, he's the one making the shot, calling the shots, I'm the one who's going with the flow, so it's easier for the guy to get off the path and the girl to just keep going in that same trajectory. So if we do this again, where we are going one, forward, turning, and now we're back here again already. That was pretty quick, right? So we got rock, step past each other. I'm getting out of the way a little bit. And then three, four, and right here. You don't have to make a half a turn. It would be nice, and it would be really easy to learn some more advanced patterns. But if this is a struggle, keep the steps nice and small, and just rotate a little bit, maybe a quarter of a turn. Because we can still go rock, step, side, back, rock, step, for her forward, side. We have a little bit of rotation, and this dance is much improved from us standing in place, dancing it right here. I can rotate a quarter of a turn at a time, and we're totally fine. And then as you get a little more comfortable, you can start to dance past each other a little bit more, and now we have much more rotation in this dance. And you can see how this would be the party fast dance. So one thing that we have is we have this connection here instead of a traditional dance position. We'll go into this position in specific moves later on, but for these couple, since the nature of them and since we're rocking back at the same time, a hook connection like this is much more comfortable. Also, um, Chris is helping me with the arms, kind of making space as we pass each other and we don't keep it up here like this, it happens a lot. We wanna make sure we keep it nice and low. This is how the follower is gonna feel the connection towards the center, not upper center. Right, I'm very, very light, however. So yes, there are ways to do this where I could really use the hands to help our rotation and kind of rotate ourselves around. I see plenty of people dance like this and it's, um, it's certainly one way to do it. More effectively, we just move around and past each other and we let our feet do the work. Because my hands have a very important job which is to lead other patterns. So if, if they're distracted with all of this rotation, sometimes it gets confusing when I wanna go start to lead something else and then we kinda of get off from each other. So the calmer and the lighter I can make the hands and we have our feet and our body do the work, now the hands are super light. When I go to lead something, it's very, very clear and obvious. One thing I will say that he's doing though is he's creating space for me. So if we're in this connection here and he holds his elbows exactly where they are, I might not have the space and I might feel a stop action. So what he's doing is he's kind of opening and making space for me if you want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, if I stay narrow with the hands. No, we... <laughs> I'm not going to move because he's telling me stop. Yes, so I rock back and I kind of open them up a little bit. I'm not Trying it's to, not huge, exactly, just no. a little bit. But they're light and they're relaxed. I just open up a little bit to give us space that we can now pass by each other. Because you can see the closer we get, the wider I want the hands to be. Where again, if I keep the hands in front of my body, and we kind of do this weird thing. I won't go anywhere. Uncomfortable. Yeah, right? so just think, let her by. Make space, that's it. Rotating this basic now with the syncopated basic, our faster version. What's important now is my rock step gets even smaller 
and my forward step gets actually a little bit bigger. So when we go to rock here now, syncopated basic and rotating, my rock step, sometimes it never, doesn't even get past my foot. That's how small it is. It feels more like a closed forward. So I rock super small here and we take a generous size forward step. So again, it's easier for us now pass by each other. So we go super small forward, walk, walk, small forward, walk, walk, small forward. And you can see that our fourth step now is definitely a step backwards. So both of us pause on our third step. We go and one, two, right? She's now gonna rotate, I'm gonna rotate. We're both gonna step back away from each other. And then we can start to small rock forward. And now we have a pretty good groove here. But the success of us being able to rotate here is really about efficient footwork instead of big rocks. And then us having to kind of like waddle or have a big jump back from each other. One more tip that I can give is the easiest way to continually rotate around your partner without any collisions in the upper body, especially ladies, since you're taking a forward step while he's taking a side step, essentially, right? We wanna make sure that our shoulders are relative towards one another. So if his shoulders are not, you know, here, I'm gonna stay here. If he's open like this, I'm not gonna come into him like this. I'm gonna mimic that motion. So I'm gonna try to keep my belly button towards his belly button. The easiest way to do this without thinking about it too much is just to kind of keep the focus with the partner. So if we demonstrate that, I'm naturally gonna bring my belly button towards him. If I didn't, you might get this kind of thing and you might get some uncomfortable collision there. So especially with rotary dances like the hustle, in general, it's just best practice to kind of stay with the partner. The rotations might vary each time as well. So it's good to, it's easier to follow him that way. The next worst habit we see is the like hiccup on the back rock, where a lot of people will take too large of a back rock and they kind of have this like, and one, two, three, and one. And there's this little kind of like hopping action here because they're not super comfortable with the syncopated rock. It typically doesn't happen with this, the slower basic. Everybody, because it's constant, is totally fine here. And this is totally fine to dance forever and you can do all of the patterns in that timing of the basic. So if that makes more sense to you, it's easier, the music makes more sense, use it. If you're looking to speed up the dance because it feels slow, then you can go to the syncopated version. And our goal is to stay as flat and calm and neutral as possible while doing this dance. And the spine, so that's what he means by flat. Right, so if you're watching, like let's say our shoulder or our head level, our shoulder and our head stay on the same plane or the same height the entire time. There is no like back and rock or dip or up and down feeling because this is very, very common, right? Typical causes, too big of a rock step. You don't need to rush the size of the step and using just the ball of the foot will fix the speed issues. You'll be plenty fast enough if you have this, this distance and the part of the foot correct and then you don't have to rush and no hiccup in your dance at all. We're gonna show you real quick if we did the syncopated version, the faster version, and continuously rotated what the basic would look like to music. All right, thank you so much for sticking through the video. I hope you learned how to do your hustle basics. And if you want to learn more advanced choreographies and stuff like that, check out our Ball and Feed Pro section on our website, link down below, and that's going to have more patterns like this, but just more exciting and kind of next level. So check that out. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, follow us everywhere on our social medias, ask us questions, leave suggestions, and we'll see you back very, very soon. Bye.